With no formal training or education, Brian McFarlane's raw talent has propelled him into his position as one of Trinidad and Tobago's most respected designers and mass men. He is the founder of McFarlane Design Studios, where he brings his artistic flair to commercial and residential interior design. His eclectic talents also see him as a celebrated events manager with a range of experience spanning from weddings, Christmas installations, and corporate events, not to mention the major ceremonies and conferences he's produced locally and abroad. I truly believe carnival is an expression of us as a people. So it's, it's that inner sense of whether it's a story we're talking about in, environmentally, historically, politically, um, but it has to relate to, to us and to what we feel maybe at a particular time of where we are in society at that period. Uh, so, so the costuming is a lot more, I think, artistic, a lot more creative. Um, there's a lot more research, I think, that goes into the actual portrayal of the costumes. And uh, more than just putting on a costume and wearing a costume, it's about, about that costume creating its own being or its own soul. Carnival has its roots deeply entrenched in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. During the late 18th century, Catholic French sugar plantation owners arrived in Trinidad fleeing the turbulence caused by the French Revolution. Before the fasting of the Lenten season began, they enjoyed indulgent balls and masquerades as a farewell to the flesh. So one may be aware of the very famous Cambolet riots that we had in Trinidad, which would have actually happened with the, with the free slaves, um, seen that abolition would have taken place in 1838. Uh, with the freeing of the African slaves in Trinidad and Tobago. And at this point is when they started to get involved in the carnival celebrations. And um, in those days, I actually think the carnival celebrations was the Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as well. It was three days. And the British were trying, because we were under British rule at the time, the British were trying to crack down on this, on this whole movement and, the, and this loud, festive um, occasion that was taking place. So that created, the, 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 the free slaves then created this, um, this riot, which was called the well-known Cambolet riots. And after that, we then started, you know, they the started the development of, of the instruments of the pan. As I said, we, we talked about the tambu bamboo because at the time there was, they were banned from playing the actual, actual drums and the African drums. So they created the tambu bamboo, then we created the steel pan. And it's come to today where we, we have the the, the trinity of the three elements that make mass, that make carnival, which is the mass, or the costuming of carnival, or the steel pan, or steel orchestra, or steel drum, which is a huge aspect of carnival. And then there is the calypso, which has evolved over the years into what we call now soca, which is a, a, a much faster beat sort of calypso. And to me, and I've said this for years, you know, it, it is the trinity of, of mass because Carnival could not exist without one of those elements, and it takes all three to come together to make the unit or the body of Carnival of Mass. During Candlelay, the slaves mimicked their owners with their own masks and rituals, and the tongue in check revelry of Candlelay became a time for release and escapism. Carnival was born. Kaiso and Kambile music was the music of the West African slaves and later the folk music of Indian indentured laborers, which has resulted in the hybrid Chutney Soka. Carnival then is the product of a melting pot of cultures, sounds, and colors that results in the greatest show on earth. 
taking place every Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday, this annual two-day event is preceded by months of parties and musical events leading up to the main celebration. So the whole combination of, of all of these great elements that make us who we are through music, through creativity, through costuming, through that incredible instrument called steel pan, all bring these ethnicities together as one Trimbagonian powerful source of energy that makes us who we are as a people of Trinidad and Tobago and who makes the entire world want to come and experience that creative um, body of soul and music, festivity, color, um, excitement that you can experience in no other country in the world but Trinidad and Tobago. Up next on The Coded. Culture is so important to us. History, heritage is so important to us. Without it, we are empty. We are nothing. So the dream is becoming reality. Castle Boys and I. Create the perfect space where modern design meets cozy comfort. Modern living by fans. We offer an original range of fashionable contemporary design furnishings and home decor. Our ultimate goal is to help you express yourself through design, through quality and value with brands that reflect international trends in fashion and interior design. Open your world at Modern Living by Fence. New, innovative, outstanding. Tokiko is one of the most respected Japanese brands on the market today. Since its early beginnings in 1937, Tokiko aimed at fostering true craftsmanship and pride. These core values have driven Tokiko to become one of the world's leading brands of shock absorbers. The stringent standards set in Japan are maintained in every manufacturing plant worldwide, without exception. This superior product is available to you right here in Trinidad and Tobago at your local auto parts dealer. Be sure to ask for it by name, Tokiko. I simply set out creating masks um, because there was an inner flame in me and in my being and my soul that wanted to express situations or topics that I saw relevant at particular times in our society. And to me, there was no better way of doing that than, 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 than doing it through carnival. But in many of the years where I did mass, I, I always would try to involve the youth and get the interpretations and get the involvement into the production or the design or the theme that I was particularly working on that year. And one, one instance I can think of too was the year that I did Scientification in Search of, which was the year, I think it was 2012, when we had the, um, the um, state of emergency and I felt kind of ready, senseless and hopeless of bringing a band. But it turned out to be one of the most powerful and strong statement bands that I had done. And it was basically a red and black band and the, and the black was kind of representing the darkness that we live in or seem to be lost in. And the blood represented the blood of our nation, the, the souls of the children and, and, our, and our people that's been shed across the nation. So after Carnival 2013, um, which captured the seven consecutive years of winning Band of the Year title, and that was Joy the Finale. I came back after three year rest because I always wanted to do something incorporating the designers of fashion, but fashion of a particular period of a, of a, of a grand era, which was the late 1980s, early 19, 1900s, late 1800s, early 1900s. 
And um, hence I came up with the band Casabor, The Art of Living, which deals with that specific area and specifically with the architecture, art and fashion, what was worn of that period, um, and bringing all of these designers so that I got their take on it. <laughs> So I kind of plotted the designers would like to ask that they were basically all of the well-known designers. So, so everybody said yes and it was unanimous when everybody came on board. Um, and then once that was done, as usual, I wanted to involve the youth and I wanted to involve some that were not up there with the others. I, I wanted to have two sort of um, young people be able to mentor under these creative persons who had established themselves in their own rights. So. I contacted UTT and I got the two top students, the top student of class for 2016, I think it was, and 2015. My name is Colleen Sano and I'm a designer. I graduated in 2015 from the University of Trinidad and Tobago as Student of the Year. And this 2017, I was given the opportunity to collaborate with McFarlane Mass for Casabon, The Art of Living. So for this particular project, um, I took it on head first and I really dealt with it as best as I could as far as getting the inspiration and really narrowing down what I really was interested in, which was the dragonfly. And from that came the messenger of change. Going into the design, I incorporated lace, I incorporated voil, a lot of natural fabrics, and I had a hint of gold to everything. Producing a mask Ban, I cannot imagine the work Brian puts into actually producing an entire ban. To produce costumes for my own section was so much work. It really takes a lot out of you and it really can be like a really draining experience. But I think once you get into the groove of working and especially when you start getting all your fabrics and getting all your materials together, it really becomes something really fun and difficult but fun and something that, um, that takes on a life of its own. So all of these incredible little details that I've, that I've spoken um, in depth about, you know, the finials, the fretwork and whatnot, and the influences of different countries and continents, that was a huge part of um, translating the designs of Casabo, the art of living. Um, there were actual designers, uh, Adrian Foster comes to mind immediately, of, of the Whitehall Affair, which was the name of his band, which was very uh, much a replica in aspects of the costume and how it was structured, the designs of the fabric, and the, and, and the whole ghostly feeling that he gave to it, you know, these umbrellas that the women carried, the parasols, but it was stripped. It was just the skeletal of the umbrella. So it was like the ghost of the Whitehall Affair, these grand affairs that would have taken place in Whitehall, uh, but brought into a modern day uh, time and structure was still given a sense, a ghostly sense of the spirit world. I took my inspiration from Whitehall, one of the magnificent sevens around the Queen's Park Savannah. So my costumes were based on the Edwardian era, which is the same time period Whitehall was built. And being the guest of Whitehall, over time, their spirits roam the hallways of Whitehall so that it's almost as if their clothing started to most within the architectural designs of the building. So you started to see different elements of the building within their costumes, the large pillars, the French windows, the fretwork, all those elements came together to create these beautiful costumes that I created for Brian. So working with Brian McFarlane was, as I anticipated, you know, a very overwhelming experience. You know, I got to see Mass through the eyes of an actual Mass man, and him being such a perfectionist, you know, over time working with these Mass creators, he sort of knew what to expect and he, he, he expected a lot from us. So it was a lot of pressure, I would say, you know, for me working with him because I also wanted to give him that quality that he is expecting from us.
create the perfect space where modern design meets cozy comfort. Modern Living by Fans. We offer an original range of fashionable contemporary design furnishings and home decor. Our ultimate goal is to help you express yourself through design, through quality and value with brands that reflect international trends in fashion and interior design. Open your world at Modern Living by Fans. New, innovative, outstanding. Tokiko is one of the most respected Japanese brands on the market today. Since its early beginnings in 1937, Tokiko aimed at fostering true craftsmanship and pride. These core values have driven Tokiko to become one of the world's leading brands of shock absorbers. The stringent standards set in Japan are maintained in every manufacturing plant worldwide, without exception. This superior product is available to you right here in Trinidad and Tobago at your local auto parts dealer. Be sure to ask for it by name, Tokiko. So I think it was anointed from, from the word go, you know, it, it, the spirit was there, the energy was there, it flowed. And I mean, when you think about it, this was something that was never done before. And all the designers would tell you it was never done before. As it were, all of these 12 designers basically working on the same canvas and creating one fabulous masterpiece um, that would be historical, because it certainly was, and certainly memorable. My input into Casabon for 2017 was really to introduce the French influence in fashion in Trinidad and Tobago over the years. Hence the reason I use the bustle of the back, um, the, the collar, the, the stockings, you know, the frilled shirts, the peasant shirts and so on. And um, I think that with all the designers that Brian used, I think that together we were able to show the Spanish, the French, and the British influence. And then he had this vision, which I just thought was so amazing. And then it was so timely with the Casabon buy of the Prime Minister, the, the, the collection of paintings that, that, that speaks of what we look like 100 or 200 years ago. So my personal inspiration for my section, which was quite simple, was fashionable wearable clothes, was a, a friend of mine called Alison Ross. I, personified my section to look like Alice and my friend and, 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 and nothing I created was unique or, or original it was just putting together in a cohesive way things that could suit all body types and, and a look from the umbrella the fan the pearls the hip belt the all sorts of stuff so it was quite easy you know I just took inspirations from what uh, what is ours what what we own it grew in a beautiful way when it started relating back to me and getting back to me with the designs and the concepts and everything was basically spot on. A little tweak in here and there, but really, really spot on. So I pulled my inspiration from the Victorian period. Um, I, in our costume, you would see that like the lace, all the lace trimmings in the costume, that sort of represents like all the gingerbread houses like the fretwork and stuff from that era um, we did the pearls because pearls are very much associated with the victorian times and uh, uh, we used a lot of well not a lot but we used some feathers as well and um, the reason we chose to give her the name felicity because back in those days felicity was actually a term used um, it meant to rejoice boisterously so I thought it was the ideal you know name for our costume for for her for Felicity so what I'm really focusing on is, is, the, is the two sections I've done both a male and female section so one is Flannedella Park which is basically a stroll in the park and the other one is Madame and Monsieur Millefleur Madame Millefleur and Monsieur Millefleur uh, is a sort of a take of a Stolmeyer's castle. So again, it's a pretty big dress, crinoline, very full. But what I've actually done, um, 
very rich sort of textured fabrics and layers of, of lace again too. But what I've actually done is taken sections of the elements of fretwork from the building and we've actually printed that and had them die cut in coroplast, which is very lightweight. And then um, I actually personalized them myself for giving them lots of very wood tone paint textures, a combination of dabbing and sponging and so forth. And then the gentleman for that, which is Monsieur Milfleur, he um, carries a fabulous sort of uh, scissor steel suit, um, layered fabrics again and very textured, uh, very nice sort of light fabric in a shirt, beautiful brass buttons and so, um, all lined on the outside of the pants and incredible top hat that we made from scratch. So Casabo, the art of living is happening. The journey is progressing. Facebook chats are going wonderful. People are registering. The energy is building in the barn. Sections are selling out. And there's a huge hype, not only of those who are playing in the barn, but a huge hype of the spectators who are coming out to see this. They haven't seen McFarlane for three years. So they're anticipating this with bated breath. And of course, we want to make it as exciting as it can be on the road for all of them to appreciate. And the purpose is being fulfilled because we're not just bringing a ban, we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're doing what Carnival is supposed to do, what Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago is supposed to do. And that is bringing a point, a topic to life, to reality, that people can actually feel, touch and smell it and understand it. So when it's done, it's not just put away as another band it was blue red pink or green and mm -hmm. it had orange feathers and it's gone it's a story that you can remember in this particular year so 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 was the case this is what we saw this is what we understood this is what we learned from it i learned from this band that there were influences from asia africa and india in the architecture that we have in trinidad and tobago i learned from this band that this enthused so many people that more people join the citizens for conservation more people are aware of what's happening more people want to get involved more people want to save buildings more people understand that they can take an old building and not just tear it down and put a high rise but they can turn it into something that's beneficial economically viable but still keep the historical elements alive for future generations. Culture is so important to us. History, heritage is so important to us. Without it, we are empty, we are nothing. So the dream is becoming reality. Casabo is alive. Saving these days can be tough. But I knew that my husband was trying his best. I wanted to save what I could to make the most of our upcoming anniversary. So I switched to CNG and began saving hundreds on my gas bill. Better up, please. And don't forget my change. No sin. <laughs> I must admit that it was tempting at times to spend the savings on myself. Girl, buy this dress with your CNG savings. Think about yourself. It didn't happen overnight, but in the end, I saved enough to buy the dress and get the dream vacation. Oh my. What would you do with all of your savings from switching to CNG? perfect space where modern design meets cozy comfort modern living by fans we offer an original range of fashionable contemporary design furnishings and home decor our ultimate goal is to help you express yourself through design through quality and value with brands that reflect international trends in fashion and interior design open your world at modern living by fans new innovative outstanding The process at McFarlane's Mask Camp for any band, any year, is always that we will do actual physical costumes on mannequins, um, 
that are displayed, but also the originality of, of doing drawings or designs. This year we've actually decided to do a very high quality photo shoot, um, of which Gary Jordan is going to, be, going to be actually doing. And we've lined up, starting at 5 a.m. in the morning, we've lined up some of the Magnificent Seven buildings around the Savannah, which are really ideal for, for the backdrop and for the setting for these costumes but also some very interesting gingerbread style houses, little queen gingerbread style houses you'll find around Port of Spain, Woodbrook, maybe even behind the, behind the bridge sort of area. So I'm really excited about the contrast of the very aristocrat homes and, and, and the very sort of timid, sort of more mild, man in the street type house, little gingerbread house. So, um, so yeah, so we all get up to get that going and once that's done, this becomes a huge part of the marketing process for the actual presentation castle. So distribution is here, it's time to start getting these costumes out and people are literally clamoring at the doors waiting for their costumes. And it started with a bang and um, I would say the first day we had a really incredible day, everything was going really smooth and the lines were building because although some people are getting their costumes and others that are waiting for things to be corrected or whatever. So the lines are kind of spilling out onto the street and, um, and we're offering water and we're playing soccer and we're trying to make sure these people are as comfortable as they can be offering tea and coffee and of course McFarlane keeps going out there to try and put a smile on their faces and it's working, for the, for the best of things it's working. So, so we're going good. And for my experience, Distribution Week flies and this year is no exception. Before you know it, it's all over and we're ready to hit the street. The van is all ready, costumes are finished, customers have them in their bags and boxes. They're all elated and excited, and we're ready to hit the streets. And I normally will walk through the band from the back of the band because they've already gone up in front and, and walk through the band to the front. And every year, it's just, it's such an incredible feeling, there's such emotion. I mean, you know, there's goosebumps, there's literally tears running around my, my, my eyes. And as people make me out, you know, I, people start little pockets of applause and, and, and just praises for their beautiful costumes. And everybody, look me, look me, I'm oh, McFarlane, look how beautiful. And so, so that energy was there as usual, that, that, that incredible energy. Um, but there was no nervousness about me because I was there just to really enjoy it and not have to worry about anything. You know, the, the, the icing on the cake was that His Excellency, the President and his wife, decided to play in our band. They could have played in any band, but it shows Casabor, the art of living. And you know, when, I, when they called me to meet him when he arrived, it was, so, it was so honorable because he was talking about, you know, the history that we bring back, the heritage that we, we project, and, and he felt so moved and touched and I knew there was no other band that he could be part of but this particular band. So, so we were honored, really truly honored to have him, you know, kind of put the, the seal and the stamp on Casabor, the art of living.